Yo, back again on the next mission and another successful ghost. Um, yeah, usual shit guys, just uh, copy the setup I'm using. Suit doesn't really have to be exact. Um, don't really need the same goggles I have or the color. But the rest of it, yeah. Alright, so for this one, we're going to start off by wrapping down. We're going to make our way around from the left side. So going around to the left. And we are not going to disturb any of the guards here or touch any lights. We're just going to hop straight over the wall. Right, by chance I managed to get the dog to come in here, so I think what it was is that I, when I went out here to the left, I went out there, I went left again, and I think one of the guards spotted me, or two of them spotted me, um, they probably got a bit alert and went to check it out, I think that could have triggered the dog, but I guess we'll find out in a second. I was just trying to find out if there was an extra route to jump up or some kind of pipe. Um, there was nothing. But I do believe this is what triggered the dog to come inside the building. Right, so I think the dog probably sniffed me from there as well. And I've alerted three guys. So there's two guys outside and this guy in here. Um, quickly jump up on the pipe I was going to take the guy out but I decided not to because the dog just comes in from the the uh, the shutters over there on the right no all right now the dog's in here you want to use the non-lethal weapon and shoot him just about there so he can't be seen Jump down, dispose of the body by putting it in the bin. Make sure when you put it in the bin, the guy isn't standing directly behind the wall. Otherwise, you'll hear you dash it inside. And that's not a very good thing, so yeah. Right, now that we've done that, we are going to go and get the guy inside the garage. I'm just going to knock him out and leave him in between the cars. Remember to be a bit patient, this guy does come in, don't rush it, slow it down. Alright, now that's taken care of, just dash him in between the cars there, make sure he's behind the light. And then make your way out to the right, and hug the wall furthest to the right. Now if you just get behind this little thing here, double check no one's coming your way. <coughs> wow. Um, make your way over here to the rocks, just make sure you stay behind them. I need to be running out on the path or in front of the lights. 
Don't even need to use any extra gadgets, just gotta be very patient and calm. I mean, you come over here to this little vehicle and there should be a guy coming down towards you. Just make sure you're out of his line of sight. And then you can go to the right towards the objective. You can, you can go through the door, but I climbed the pipe. Um, yeah, I don't know if that helps with anything, but up to you guys what you do. I was right. I'm at the security monitoring station. Never met one I couldn't hack. If you patch Charlie through, we can funnel the video feed into the SMI. I can run facial recognition to locate Nuri. Got him, Sam. He's heading inside. Balcony door looks like a security soft spot. Confirmed. A few shadows might make for easier access. Then we need to kill the power. Any cameras give us a wide view of the estate? Sending it to your offset now. The utility shed by the pool pulls a lot of power. Must be connected to the main breaker box underground. Heading there. Best suit's at the back window. Unlocking that for you now. You are go. Right, so we're going to run down, lean up against the rock. As he walks up the stairs, we're going to walk past. Right, there's a dog down here to the right. He shouldn't sniff you out, so you should be fine. Just make your way over to the end here, the end of the balcony. Um, can climb over. In fact, I, I advise you to climb over because the guy coming behind you, he, he does usually come a bit closer. Uh, as the dog begins to make his way, jump over to the second part and climb down to this little water feature here wait for him to continue after he's digging you should start walking after he finishes parking there we go alright so as you climb up make your way along drop down before you get to the end just before because the guy up the here just on the edge he can spot you he almost did luckily I tapped B really quick after panicking I managed to get down. Make your way over the wall and slowly continue your path towards the objective. Jump up here, should be fine. Don't need to walk around. Um, actually, no, sorry, yeah, follow up, follow up the wall and go this way because the dog's going to smell you from here. Hug the wall and he may come towards you, he may not. Uh, hopefully he comes outside. If he comes towards you, stand back a bit and then shoot with the non-lethal weapon. This guy's gonna be a bit alert. He's gonna come after you. Take him as a shield. Open the door and make sure you drag both the bodies inside. And do be cautious of the guy that is patrolling this area. There's, an, there's a third person here. Or a second person. I can't remember. I think there's a couple. But for now, just be very cautious.
try rover online. Telemetry's good. No lag on the data transmission. All right. Let's go. Be careful, Sam. It still makes a bit of noise, and the EMP I rigged isn't going to help. Don't worry. I'll take care of you, baby. You have to go up. Sam, you're coming up on the breaker box. All right, now you want to take your time because there's a guy who starts running around outside as he disappears off the radar, exit the building, and continue going straight. Stay low, make your way up the stairs. Be very careful here. There's a guy just up there somewhere, he's hiding, so be very careful. All right, make your way up the pole and go to your right. For some reason I slipped down. I think I was trying to rush across the side, but that's not a biggie. And once you make your way across, go down and enter through the door. This part can be a bit tricky, but it's easy if you take your time and just stay calm. As you can see, I was trying to rush there. Jump up, shoot, look down, and shoot the 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 mains box on the side there. I I do recommend doing that because on the second part of this, when you're coming back out. Um, the two guys won't rush in at one time, they're rushing one by one, so go to the door and, and use the peek under option and make some noise, that'd help. And you want to knock this guy out as well, just to reduce your amount of patrolling. Once he's knocked out, hide his body behind the desk, that's what I would say to do, just in case he comes in, you never know. Once you finish with that, jump back over the balcony and climb your way along. Take out the second box. Try to be a bit more precise than I was there. Right, this part's about just uh, kind of second guessing, really. Once you see that guy walking away, the guy to the left should walk up if he is there. If not, just try to throw a camera in there, maybe. You should be fine with that. So once the coast is looking pretty clear, make your way through, scale the wall, and head to your right. I'm telling you man, there's a lot of rats in this goddamn game. Alright, so as you climb up, shoot the box out here. Um, you can, I think you can make your way through the right, but I prefer going left. I don't know why, I just prefer to go left here. Um, I kind of failed throwing the smoke grenade, but if you be patient, you can get healed. The guy that's down that hallway will come towards you, and he'll probably go about his own way. And that's when you want to make your way around.
if you are in a situation like I am throw your smoke grenade just there before the stairway and you should be covered so you can make your way around and get into the bathroom didn't send you. What does the round want with you? Perhaps we should address our more immediate problem? Sam, truck's outside. It's a hit squad. They're kicking in the doors. My money's on Cud's force. If you can arrange my safe exit, I promise I can reward you. Every man has his price. I want information. Majid Sadiq. Regrettably, even if I knew this man, I couldn't tell you. Business depends on this rule. And every rule has its exception. I'll give you Sadiq. Good thinking. Follow me. I built an underground escape tunnel. Alright, so this is kind of why I told you to get make the doors get broken down by the dudes. Once you come in, see the door still broken. Grab your proximity shocker. And first guy should roll inside. You may not even need to use it. If you have the trajectory lineup like me, you can still press X if he comes near you. So just stay calm and stay hidden. He's probably gonna run up to you because that's what he did to me. Just keep tapping the X button, you'll grab him, knock him out. The next guy decides to be a little bit of a bitch, so head over to the wall just by the doorway and he should probably get alert trying to figure out where his buddy is um, press X as he's coming through and hit him knock him out and then jump over onto the balcony this part's pretty easy with the proximity shocker still on um, three guys one there and two more as they're about to run throw it you'll take all three of them out now be a good time as you can see it knocks all three of them out which worked out for the best and then you only have one guy to take out which is pretty cool so you can either do this with the stun gun or you can probably jump down and kill him but I'd recommend waiting until he starts moving um, somehow I started moving in sync with him I was hoping to be moving before he did but he appeared to be moving as I moved but that worked pretty well. Stealth knockout from the air. And then you just got one last bit to do. And this part's really easy, guys. Really easy. We're almost at the entrance. Grim, we're approaching escape tunnel. Give me options. Option. The river's your only one. I see a boat at Nuri's private dock. Get the guns from the weapons cache ahead. No, if I get shot, it won't be in the back. If you want out of here, then start talking about Sadiq. It's a simple arrangement. He gives me cash, and I send him soldiers. Now, what are the soldiers for? For none of my business. Let's move. Alright, so as you make your way down here, down the hills, head to the left of the rocks and you should see your first hostile coming up. Don't need to engage this guy, you can just slip straight past him as he just goes straight on. If he does wait, just wait behind these rocks and you should be fine. Make your way down, running through here. Head to the left side of the rocks and scope out. There's two guys here. One guy ends up coming to the right, which you will see in a bit. I'll show you where he is. Just over there, he ends up there. So that's where you're gonna use your non-lethal weapon, the shocker, or the 
taser gun and you want to shoot him with that so as soon as he gets there and starts standing still take him out move to your left uh, there should be one more guy hopefully he's already in position you just make your way down and shoot him as well and you need to do is make your way to the boat you don't have to fight any enemies because you weren't detected and yeah you obviously kept Nuri alive so good game good job and hope you enjoyed this walkthrough file contains the names and passport numbers of all the operatives I sent Sadiq. Grim, I'm sending you a file from Nuri's phone. Verify it for me. Copy. We don't have time. You expect me just to trust you? Sam, you've got to move. They're almost on top of us. Yeah, sure sounds like it, doesn't it? Nuri's file checks out. Get out of there. 